Why should journalists use social media? Well, that's a good question, and it's often followed by another good one. What do we get out of it? We can actually get a lot out of social media. But it's important that we also think about what we're prepared to put into it. Because journalism via social media is a conversation or it's nothing. We either join a community of those interested in the subjects we report on, or we may as well forget it. We use social media for our journalism because that's where our audiences and potential audiences are. It's also where we find stories and can develop them. Once, journalists and their journalism were discovered through readers picking up a newspaper or magazine, viewers flicking over to our TV channel, and listeners finding us on their radio dial. Now, it's much more likely that audiences, particularly new and young ones, will find us via social media. But they can only find us if we're there. We need to be on those social networks to have a hope of making that first tentative connection. Here's a saying, fish where the fish are. If the fish, our potential audience, are on Facebook and 750 million people are, or on Twitter, Google Plus or wherever, we need to put our content on those social platforms in such a way that people engage with it and want to connect with us. We hope to build on that first connection and develop ever stronger links with individuals. Social media are the bridges we use to get people to hear about and start using our websites, watching our TV shows, buying our magazines and newspapers. We want them to come to us when they need our journalism. And if they've met us on Twitter, Facebook or wherever, and come to like and trust us in our content, we stand a chance of making that happen. So here are the goals of this masterclass. This program of learning is called Getting Started in Social Media, and that's exactly what we'll do. We aim to demonstrate the importance of social media to the modern practice of journalism to show you how to establish presences for yourself and your title, website, program or whatever on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, LinkedIn and YouTube. We'll outline best practice in building a professional presence on each of these platforms and on many more platforms later in the series. We'll show how to use each platform as appropriate to promote you and your journalism. So we'll look at the importance of building up contacts on these platforms, at how to engage with the community on them, at how to find and research stories on each, and how to publish and or promote on all of them. As well as that, we need to explore the most time efficient use of social media. So we'll look at social media dashboards and examine the benefits of sending one post to multiple social platforms. But as I say, this is just getting started in social media. There'll be two levels above this, build a proficiency in social media and professional standards in social media. And those three fit the hierarchy of learning that makes up the MNJ project.